Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Detroit Lions. Dustin Hopkins set to get this one going. And we are underway from Ford Field. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Goff going to look to throw right away. And his first pass is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Here's second and ten. Play action. It's gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he'll be taken down the back before they reach the 50. 23 yards to pick up there. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Meanwhile, Goss throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Credit Zadarius Smith able to get through and make that tackle for a loss. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now it's gone. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He put that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Patterson's kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They will start this drive with four. Up past the 30, second down coming up. I feel like I could see.
working on that carry, wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Nick Chubb. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 69 yards. And the Browns have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. And that's why he's been the first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-3 the score on EA Sports. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now. Down at the 33. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. A shotgun snap for Goff. That's into the hands of Cody Freeman. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Gibbs. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, here's a diving catch right side. There's no pull He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there with an amazing diving catch. And the Lions have retaken the lead. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 80 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. 
And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Up the middle, it's Chubb. Breaks through the contact. And all the way in. Touchdown. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns have moved out in front. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Touchdowns on back-to-back drives, so a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now a play fake, and it's gone. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. From the gun, here's Goff. Loose inside the 30. Touchdown! Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. And he returns this to the 22. The Cleveland offense ready to go as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission. Going out wide, finds Chubb a gain of a yard and that'll make it second down now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts 
as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now second and nine. Now Watson. And that is taken in by Njoku. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku, 78 yards. And the Browns will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Hopkins with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. offense ready to kick off their next drive with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive the Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half snap will come from the 31 on second and seven off play action here's gone that one let go deep for Laporta. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And in for the Lions touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and it's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. drive about to get started and with decent starting field position there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range Watson's throw complete there to Moore now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half certainly no settling into the drive there they came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down on first and ten, Watson. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. 
That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Throwing again is Watson. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The final shot before the break. Watson looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by a feet to Melifonwu. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Calling their game that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Running for it, here's Chubb. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up, perfect situation, and what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 144 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On a second and long. It's really nice to see an offense has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass. Uses blockers well and pick up the first down. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On the ground, it's Ford. Shoves him aside. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. That good for 22 and a first down. How about that, partner? That's a gutsy run, a physical run, an explosive run. And he's inside the 10-yard line now. I don't know if you hand it to him again on this play, but make the defense think that you will. And maybe you have some options off of it. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Forced out to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. They need their best drive of the game right here. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Montgomery on the counter. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Hey, five. Uh. On second down, here's Gibbs. And some room to run now. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 61 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Gibbs straight ahead, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They'll try the air now with Goff. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield. And oftentimes, it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third, Goff. 
He's got room to roam, and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are on the field? Hey, lift! Lift! Now back to the ground. Here's Gibbs. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second down, eight yards to go. Golf. Finds Gibbs on the check down. Touchdown! Jameer Gibbs from 10 yards out. And the Lions answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Great options of wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield, they're eligible too. Important extra point up and through. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out, but I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stopped that one behind the line of scrimmage. Another good run for him. What else is new? That will come right now. Watson to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Here's Watson. Pass complete to Chubb. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. To throw, Watson. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 44-yard line. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here's first and ten. Now Watson. Here's second down. Watson. Completes it right side to Cooper. The sound of here in the dome. This is third down. Snap it to Watson. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalposts. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. First and ten, here's Gibbs. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now they'll get the first crack at things here in overtime as we are back underway. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Five, five, five. Brings five. up second and seven. Now gone. Well, that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. He's airing it out for Williams. And this one is incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Back to throw, gone. He's got his target, that's complete. And they're gonna have another first down as he's gonna be tackled at the Browns' 24-yard line. Goff now looks to throw. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. Here now, second and four. Out of the gun, Goff. And in for the Lions, 
a return from a few steps into the end zone and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started and last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way. We oh and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Gigantic play by this defense, Charles. So they came back in the fourth quarter, took the momentum into overtime, and now they take the football. And how do you think the team that just threw the pick feels right now? They surrendered the lead, got to overtime, had a chance to redeem themselves, and now they put the game in jeopardy with another pick. And guess what? Their defense has to hold. 